On Saturday, November the 4th, we lost a great man, husband, dad, grandpa, pop. My idea is to create a video diary of sorts to help me along with my healing. And if it helps someone out there somewhere that just happens to come across these, even better. I'm not saying it's going to be professional or maybe even consistent or comprehensive, coherent, whatever big words you want to use. It may be a big mess, but it's something. Hey, Dad. Good morning. It is Tuesday, December the 12th. Um, I just dropped off a um, chunk of the bus stop. Mom at work. I'm in your room today. Um, I, uh, I was in my old room yesterday. Uh, I didn't think I could sit in your room, you know. Yesterday was a little rough. Um, I mean, on a good note, on a positive note, um, I'm not grouchy at mom anymore. <laughs> mm, I guess. Because we found out Nunu was okay. That helped her mood. I'm guessing. Like her anxiety or whatever it was. That was causing her grouchiness. Which in turn was causing my grouchiness. And um. Or maybe she was being extra nice. Because I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Which mm, I'm going back this morning for blood work. So I will not be going to work. Um, this morning, but as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to head to work, so I'll probably be there later, <clears throat> but I am going to be taking the boys, of course, to school, dropping them off, you know, <laughs> Uber doesn't stop, <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, this weekend we were out and about, and we got you this cute little gingerbread guy, and... Um, this little, uh, let me get him, this cute little snowman, and, oh, yikes, and then, here are the little light bulb stakes that I had been talking about before, and they're solar, so, that's gonna be cool, hopefully one of these days we can go put that stuff over there, oh, and then we have this little Peppermint candy. So sparkly. So yeah, hopefully one of these days. If it's not too busy. Or should I say, if we're not distracting ourselves too much. We're going to go and put that stuff there. <sighs> but yeah. Like I mentioned, I do have um, to go back to the doctor and get all the blood work done and stuff. Oh my gosh, Alexa just scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> She's set to automatically turn off the porch light and so. Oh, I used to have her on my phone. She would just randomly say, okay, from my phone. And that, oh my gosh, the first time I heard that, I was kind of half asleep. Because dude had just left, so I was starting to fall back asleep. Oh my goodness. I think it was on a Saturday or a day I didn't go to work. I don't quite remember, but she said, okay, from my phone. <laughs> and at first I didn't realize it was from my phone. <laughs> but anyways, um, as I mentioned, I'm doing a lot better today. We're doing better today or yesterday evening, at least anyway, after we found out that Nunu was okay. And, um, but yeah, the morning, the morning was a little rough. And, and last night, well, not last night, the night before that, when we got back from main event, uh, with Chunk and his friends, you know, we were, after we had dropped off Chunk's friends, my little key fob, I think the battery was dying because it kept giving me the message 
you know, the key fob has left the vehicle. And I'm like, well, obviously it's right here. <laughs> so I figured the battery was dying. And so um, when we got home, I was trying to test out the key fob. I was like, well, you know, hopefully, <laughs> you know, it still works. So I, won't, I hit the little panic button, you know, to test out the buttons. And it started, you know, it started honking. It said, beep, beep. And then my sister's like, <laughs> it startled her. And then she's like, what are you doing? I was like, a test, testing out the fob. And then she's like, she's like, sat quiet for a second. And she's like, I kind of spaced out a little. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I was about to tell you that you're going to wake up dad. Oof. We both kind of just, you know, let that sink in. It was already like past 10 o'clock at night. So, you know, yeah. We kind of sat quiet for a second. Oof. And so, of course, you know. That was on my mind for the rest of the night and in the morning. Plus, like I said, I, mom and I were kind of grouchy at each other. But it's fine now. It's fine now. <laughs> I'm about to go shower and get ready so that um, when I drop off the boys at school, I can go to the doctor and get that blood work done. But yeah, all right, Dad. You take care. Get some rest and... Try not to worry about us too much.